Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So I'm here playing with envelopes again. So this is the start of what's going to be my Lavender and Lilacs Fairy Journal. Um, I did start this last year. So uh, this video is part of my Finish It In Four challenge for the uh, event that we're running in the Facebook group this month. And basically it's all about finishing off unfinished projects. So one of the steps that I want to take to getting this finished is to sort the cover. So I'll just show you what I've got first of all. I haven't got the signature stitched in. So this is just an A4 envelope that I've covered with pretty fabric that I just had in my stash from years ago. Uh, I've sewn around it in purple thread and then the lining is um, music sheet, uh, well lots of different music sheets kind of like collage together with napkin over it um, and then I've just added some some lace and stuff just to give the, the edges a bit of an, a nicer look. So that's all that is, nice and simple. <clears throat> now for the cover I will show you if I can get this back in, there we go. Um, I wanted to show you, so I'm going to be playing with envelopes because I want to have some kind of stacked envelope piece on the front. Now, it all started from this fairy who I thought would just look so beautiful on there. Likewise, I really like her as well, but I think I have chosen the lavender fairy. Now, originally I was just gonna stick her on and you know be done with it, which would have been fine, but I did want to make this, you know, a bit more special. So what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of pearlescent, pearlescent card. So I'm going to have the fairy framed on this piece of pearlescent card. I might need to cut it down a little bit, a little bit more. So she's going to be on there. And the reason I'm using the card, not just for a nice, pretty, sparkly border, but because it's also going to give me strength for my envelope flaps. So I've got a large envelope from my stash, which is going to be used to hide her. I want her to be, you know, a secret, secret fairy that we find later. And then I've got another envelope, the next size up, which is going to come on this side. Then I've got another envelope, smaller yet again, for this side somewhere there and then for the front of the whole piece I'm going to have this CD wallet with this pretty bluebell wood picture in which is from the Gordon Benningfield books which is going to go something like that depending on you know what we have so once all that's stuck down um, we're going to have yeah some really interesting flip outs that are going to reveal different fairies of pinks and purples really um, and then eventually you find the fairy at the end. Now I'm not going to have any of these envelopes as pockets apart from this one in the middle only because it's already cut open and I did want one envelope to be a secret pocket for another secret fairy. So that's really kind of all what it's about. It's like, you know, you're going through these pretty bluebell woods to find all the different fairies and things. So yeah, I thought that would just be a lot more interesting than just yeah sticking a fairy on the front <laughs> um and yeah i've always wanted to do a cover like this so i figured you know why not make it uh, for this journal so the first step is i've got all of these um pretty scripty text um all to mat the envelopes i'm going to mat every single envelope pretty much front and back with this scripty text um and then from there we're going to um you know, decorate the envelopes up further, add a bit of collaging, of course add fairies, and maybe even some pockets. So that scripty text comes from the first few pages of this book, uh, which is called Island, Diary of a Year on Easedale by Garth and Vicky Waite. Um, it's got this really pretty uh, scripty text, and then it's sort of a, oops, I'm dropping it. <laughs> um, and then it's a botanical book. Um, I do have, you know, a, a more in-depth flip through of this uh, in my uh, books, books I use for junk journaling uh, playlist. So I just thought I would show you that. Now I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me mat all of these envelopes because that would take day and, a and age and I want us to focus on 
the fun fairies and you know actually building of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything matted. Um, I'm also going to put this uh, bluebell picture in the window. I originally wanted it to be a journal card that comes out um, but unfortunately the image is too small because it was just a scrap from something I was using before. Um, so I'm just going to uh, simply glue it in the window and then we'll decorate around the outside and instead we'll have a pocket or a tuck spot on the back. <clears throat> so yeah, um, let me get all of the envelopes matted with these and I will be right back. All right, so I've got all of my envelopes matted. Um, because I wasn't keeping any of them as pockets, they are simply just glued down. Yeah, just just, just cause, just as. Um, this one, as I say, I want to keep this one open. So I thought I would come back and just show you how I'm going to go about doing that. So what we want to do is make sure we've got some glue uh, running along here. I'm using the art glitter glue so I can get a thin nozzle, thin a thin bead. And we're going to go all the way around the outside. Hopefully not putting our sleeves in it. <laughs> around here as well. We're going to follow the lip of our envelope. Now because this envelope is cut down, it is a bit of a, a strange shape, but that should be just fine. And then just fill in the rest. And then from there, we can just go ahead and plonk this down, slide it into place as best we can. And of course, <laughs> me being me, mop up the excess glue. <laughs> um, and then that should mean that our pocket uh, inside, the envelope pocket inside stays, um, stays open for us to use it. As I say, I wasn't um, planning on having any of the envelopes be pockets um, themselves because we're going to add extra things to them. I didn't want the envelopes to be too heavy because this one was already open and I did think, oh, it would be fun to have a, you know, a secret, a secret fairy card in there somehow. So there you are. Um, I decided to, uh, yeah, I might as well use this as the... Uh, uh, as that particular envelope. So that's all of those matted. So now we've got the fun job of um, building it up, to, you know, building the whole thing and um, adding our fairies and extra decoration. So just give me a minute. I'm just going to get everything organised and we'll continue from there. Okay, so let's go an envelope at a time. So I'm going to come back to the front one because I want to do some uh, stamping and stenciling probably. Okay, so let's go an envelope at a time. So on this one, I wanted to have my lilac fairy on the front here, possibly with some butterflies in the background. But I felt like maybe we needed something behind her. Just a little, a little simple bit of collage. So either that one or this piece. Um, I quite like the fact that this one goes out and in, um, actually. Just felt like it needed a little, a little something. So I'm wondering whether to use silver ink for this. So I'm just gonna get myself um, a new dobber. Okay, let's see see how we get on with this silver. Felt like it would be, you know, sparkly. Um, and I don't, like, because I've used white and I'm happy with the white, I don't want it to be grungy. But I do want to, you know, make it neat and everything. So let's try that. And I do need to just go around her a little bit as well. Okay, let's try it with the silver and see how we get on. Alright, so um, I think I'll just use the art glitter glue for this piece. So yeah, I wanted to use um, the text, the scripty text from the book, because I felt like it would be 
the simplest thing to just get all of the envelopes matted um, first of all and then from there you know some of the fairies looked just perfect on top of it some of them wanted a little bit of extra collaging but nothing um, you know nothing too too fancy just very simple um, because <clears throat> Really, more than anything, I want the fairies, the fairies to do the talking. You know, they're. Um, I want them to be the focus. Okay, just excuse me. Reach for my my bin. What's up? So we're gonna have lilac on the front, and the Michaelmas daisy on the back. So I'm just going to glue her all the way down and then I'm thinking we might add some, some butterflies. But I think what I'll do is I'll get all the fairies on first um, and then I may, you know, when, when I've got all of the envelopes joined together, I can then see how everything looks together before doing the final decorations. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's um, focus on the fairies and yeah, as I say, I'm celebrating the, the purple fairies mainly, pink and purple. Um, and I kind of went by size as well as how they, how they looked on each envelope. And I did make those decisions before because otherwise, <laughs> I mean, that was probably the longest part of the process is deciding, you know, which butterflies to use, uh, which um, fairies to use, sorry. Um, so then I wanted Michaelmas Daisy on the back. Now I actually backed him with book page because I thought initially to use him as a tuck spot. Which he does feel strong enough to do just for like a little tag or something. So what I'm thinking is to, to go ahead and do that and then if I decide not to put anything in it I can just add some extra glue. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to glue the bottom and whoops, the side and a little bit here just in that curve. As I say I'm not going to put anything heavy in it if I do use it as a tuck spot. I just don't want to glue it all the way down and then find that actually you know yeah I wanted options basically because I can always go in with extra glue um, if I change my mind. Bring him in a little bit. There we go. But yeah, I thought that could be kind of fun, just for you know a little kit tag or, or something light anyway. So I did back him onto sturdy book page. So that's that's him and her. Okay. So let me move that to one side to dry. Oops. So then the next piece is this from I think this comes from the Secret World book that I've got. And how fun does that look? And that's what I mean by, you know, most of it being, they only really needed the text behind them. They didn't need, you know, a lot of these fairies didn't need it, the extra collaging and stuff. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this all the way down. This one could have been a pocket. Um, you know, I could have backed this onto some book page, but whoops. But I didn't want to have pockets on everything and um, I suppose, yeah, this would have made a nice pocket actually thinking about it, but it's too late now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't want pockets on absolutely everything. But yeah, thinking about it, actually, that would have been, been quite a good piece. I think I didn't because it's got that, um, that flower, that um, daffodil hanging off and stuff, so... That's probably why I decided not to with this piece, but I'm sure there could have been ways, ways to make it work in that kind of way if I'd chosen to. So I'll just cut off the, the excess pieces. <clears throat> have to ink around all these envelopes yet but <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered to do it just yet. 
Um, so then on the back of this piece, I'm going to have um, either a pocket or a tuck spot. But as I say, I want to wait um, until we've got everything built together and then I can decide which, which piece to use for that. Now for this, I might very well have something here, butterflies or words or, you know, something. But for now, that's that one. And then for this one, again, similar to the last envelope, we're having a pocket or a tuck spot on the back. Um, I'll just move lavender out of the way. Um, and for this one, I wanted this big slow fairy. Um, similar to lilac fairy, I felt like I wanted to put this paper behind her. Now this paper comes from a collage type, um, from her rustic lilac kit, which I have used in the project. I will link it below if you've not come across that kit yet. Very pretty kit and I've got loads of leftover papers so I am actually thinking and I made so much ephemera which uh, you'll see some of the videos for that um, over the next few days. I made so much that I do think I'm going to have to have some more purple projects through the year so I'm thinking to do like um, you know some some folio type projects not massive ones but just um, interesting ones. So I was having that over there somewhere wasn't I? I don't know why I'm using the art glitter glue. <laughs> I just have <laughs> for something so big. I don't know. Okay, okay, let's go about here-ish. Sorry if I seem quiet, it's a Monday morning <laughs> today that I'm filming this because um, I just wanted to get a head start on some of my projects, you know, for this week. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit, <laughs> I don't know, tired. Uh, so sorry if I seem a bit quiet today. Concentrating, you know, takes a lot more effort this morning, I think. But I just thought, yeah, I wanted to, to get a move on really. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this project now. I think I've said in my December dailies how, you know, I, I put off doing this particular journal for a while. Um, I, I just fell out of love with it last year. Um, I had done a lot of fairy projects one after the other. So, you know, I was feeling a little bit, um, you know, I wanted to, to get going with other, other things really. Just double check where she's going. About there. Um, so, so yeah, um, you know, I did, um, I did take like a, a breather from it. Um, and sometimes you need to do that. You know, if you're falling out of love with the project, then sometimes just having a bit of space, you know, is enough to, um, you know, to fall back in love with it again when you pick it up later. Um, come back to it with a fresh, fresh pair of eyes, I guess, is sometimes what's needed. And I'm glad that I did because, um, you know, I would I wouldn't have known I wouldn't have thought to do a stacked envelope cover um, when I was working on it last year. As I said, I was just gonna pop that fairy down and be done with it. But I'm so excited for this project and I really wanted it to be that, you know, you're you're going through the woods finding all these these fairies that you can't see from the outside. Lots of um secret surprise fairies and things, you know. So That's it. Isn't she beautiful? So as I say, we're going to have a pocket on the, the back or a tuck spot or something. But I want to join everything together before I decide on what extra bits to put on. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink around all of the envelopes in the silver. Um, make sure everything is glued down well. And then we'll join all of the envelopes together. And um, yeah, add some final decoration. So I'll be right back. 
All right, so I've got all of the envelopes inked. I've also just done some light stenciling and stamping on the front piece. So I used um, Vintage Photo for the stenciling, just very lightly, and then silver and gold script stamping around, just so that it didn't look quite so different from, you know, the other, the other pieces. Okay, so I want to get these pieces joined on. So I'm gonna start with the back piece. Um, I am going to have to cut part of the uh, the flap off, but that's okay. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to use the Beacon or Fabri-Tac, um, just because it's strong, but it also gives me movement um, compared with if I were to use the Art Glitter Glue. Um, and of course, I can always um, I can always go in with extra glue around the tip, you know, around the edges as I need to. Now, is it going to come out? Okay. So, let's go all the way around here. Now, I probably don't need to keep all of this flap on, but I am. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I just decided to, rather than cut it off. Okay, and then I'm just going to... Oops, Maneuver that piece in. I'm just kind of trying to make it so that it's kind of in the middle-ish. <clears throat> but obviously I want the envelope to close okay, so I have to make sure it's not not in the crease too much. And make sure that's all down. That looks to be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to come in with my little scissors and just cut off the excess flap because um Originally, my envelope was the exact size of the pearlescent card, um, but I cut the pearlescent card down so that the border was even the whole way along. I didn't even think about the fact that, you know, the envelope was the exact size. So all I'm doing is just cutting the the, the bits of the flap that's overhanging, if I can get in there. What's that? Sorry, I'm just concentrating okay <clears throat> as I say you won't you won't see that anyway yep that looks to be fine okay so that's going to do that and hide our fairy so next envelope we've got this one now I am attaching all of my <clears throat> excuse me all of my envelopes uh, to the back card. Um, I don't know if that's the best way to do it. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's the best way to, to do it, but that is how I'm doing it. Um, now I'm okay to do this because my envelopes are opening, you know, left, right, left, right, as opposed to one on top of the other. If I had a different order of envelopes, I might have had to do it differently. Um, but what I wanted was for all of my envelopes to be protected by this back piece of card. Um, and then when we come to, you know, attach the, the whole piece to the front of my journal, I could then just have one place to glue, just glue the whole thing down and be done with it. That's why I decided to, to do it this way. just want to make sure that's in there all right i don't know if that one might want a little bit of washi um just along that flap because it doesn't feel oh got a bit of extra oh no i haven't i thought that was glue <laughs> it's not that's fine yeah i might put some washi along that one um because it does feel a little bit a little bit weaker than the rest but and that's also the pocket one anyway <clears throat> but I'm sure it'll be fine and then this one I'm gonna have I think I want this one slightly up because what I'm thinking is originally I was gonna have the uh, CD wallet in the middle but I'm actually going to pull it down because this little fairy looks like she's leaning on top of it um, so, so yeah, I think I want this one about here. So 
thing. Let's go for that. And all of these envelopes are, you know, fairly strong. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my glue is <laughs> glue is playing silly, silly today. Um, yeah, all of the envelopes are quite strong. I've not tea dyed anything because that can weaken envelopes, especially the flaps. Um, yeah, they're they're good quality envelopes. Um, just just different sizes I had in my stash. I haven't gone out and bought anything special. Um, you know, a lot of them are just um, you know things that would have been you know from from cards sent to me and and such like. Um, but they are all strong, um, which is which is the important the important bit really. So let me just get that excess glue. No, it slipped in there somehow. That's it. If you rub it fast enough, it does it does come off. If you're if you're quick about it, you know. Just want to make sure that closes okay. As I say, it does have a little bit of bulk to get around, but um, it's it's laying pretty flat, so I'm okay about that. And of course, it's going on the cover anyway, so it doesn't matter if it has a little bit of kicking up. <clears throat> And then we've got this piece. As I say, I wouldn't normally attach them all to the back. Um, I just felt like because it was on the cover, I felt like I, I wanted to do it that way. Um, okay, this one. Let's make sure it's straight. <clears throat> Straight-ish. That's it. And as I say, because I wasn't putting pockets on every single envelope, really just as decoration and to find the fairies, um, I didn't worry so much about bulk. If I was putting pockets in everything, you know, if every envelope was a pocket or if I was putting pockets on everything, then I probably would have had to do it differently. So just, yeah got to make it work for you, eh? So that's that. I think that's straight. Straightish. Now, I don't know about the closure. I have this blush ribbon that I want to use. <clears throat> now, I have a decision to make at some point. Not yet, but at some point. I just thought I'd mention it whilst I was thinking about it. Now, I could have the ribbon go underneath this whole piece. And then sort of come around like this or something and tie with a bow or the alternative would be to have an eyelet on this envelope at the front and then have that tie the whole way around or have the ribbon underneath close up the journal and not have anything on here I haven't quite decided yet um, but I don't think I need to make that decision just yet i do need to make it at some point <laughs> um but not just yet so i might decide to have this one like that maybe so it's a little bit less busy up there yeah i think i prefer that so yeah i think i might have it like that and then you've got this fairy on the front so from here really we need to start thinking about um you know, decoration and, and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to come back to the front. <clears throat> so on the back of the CD wallet, I was thinking to have a pocket. But of course, if I do the eyelet thing, I can't have the pocket there unless the eyelet goes elsewhere. So... I might end up having a pocket this way round. I've got two of these. So I'm just going to come back to that because I'm just not sure. Okay, let's go with the bits I am sure about. <laughs> okay. All right, so I've got these two little tucks that I made in um, an upcoming video that you'll see. Um, and I thought these would be nice for on the back here. Just to, to hold something, something little. I liked that they were kind of matching. I quite like that. 
So let's get those on and then that way I know how much bulk I'm dealing with as well because I know I definitely, definitely want these on there. Um, so I want to glue this side and along the bottom. I think uh, Friday and Saturday is when these videos are going up. And I made them randomly. I didn't plan to make them. It was one of those. Just ended up making them. They, they worked out nice though. I was happy with them. So that'll be a little tuck for something in there. Nice gold, gold twine. And same again here then. So we are inking, uh, gluing uh, this side. It doesn't take much to confuse me. Um, as soon as I turn things upside down, <laughs> I forget which bits I'm gluing um, and I know I'm not the only one I know you know but lots of us are like it okay just that's it oops glue everywhere again <laughs> no surprises there let's move over a little bit that's it that's good so yeah, these are just little tucks, um, so they, they themselves are not too bulky, but I really did like how that looks like that. And then we can have some kind of card in. Again, not too much bulk. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like I might add a word to her, her piece. That's that. <clears throat> Still don't know if I'm gonna have him as a pocket. So, what I need to do is get out some decorating stuffs, um, butterflies, words, etc. And um, from there, we can finish this piece off. So I won't be long. Um, well, <laughs> I won't be long for you. I'll be a second for you. Um, so yeah, just give me a minute and um, I'll just find some things and we'll, we'll carry on. Okay, let's um, have a think about some decoration. So I've just got some butterflies and things out. So first off, I know that I definitely want to put some butterflies on this this one. So I was thinking something simple like that would be would be fine. Let's get that one down. As I say I'm not gonna add heaps and heaps of decoration because otherwise I think it would be would be too much. And also I don't want, you know, lots of, um, because this is the, the front of the journal, I don't want vulnerabilities, you know, so I'm trying to keep it simple. Whilst still, you know, doing enough to, to make it interesting to look at. That's that one. Just make sure I'm not completely gluing the, the, the wings down. There we go. All right, moving on. So I think for him, um, I think I want some kind of sentiment, either top or bottom. <clears throat> um, I do have some of these Tim Holtz pieces. Um, which I do quite like, so I'm gonna keep that there for a second. Um, so this Slow Fairy, um, I felt like we had, you know, quite a bit of a blank space going on here. So I was looking for some things that would fill up the space but still be, you know, in the background um, kind of thing. So I've got some Tim Holtz ephemera, so a faux stamp, I've got a butterfly in some, you know, nice dark purple. Um, maybe this this little label just to finish it off somehow something like that maybe I think that looks good so let's get those inked and stuck down and then I'll probably I've got another little butterfly that I'll, I'll add to the picture as I say I'm trying very hard to keep it simple piece <clears throat> that's that 
I'm just trying to decide on this sentiment whether to, um, you know, at the moment it's on uh, like a, a, a scrap of scrapbooking paper that I had. I was just using up some, some strips. I don't know whether to keep it on that or, um, or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Um, where should we have you? Should we build it out like that? Yeah, I think so. Why not? I know it's technically a specimen label, but um, you can pretend someone was looking for butterfly uh, butterflies. I keep saying butterflies, berries, looking for berries. Because I'm looking at a butterfly whilst talking. <laughs> I'm sure that's why. I keep wanting to call them butterflies. <clears throat> and then, oh, where am I putting you? How about somewhere there? That's it. Simple, simple, but I like it. Right, let's think about this sentiment. Um, I like it, so I'm going to go with it. There's no point hunting around for the perfect word and the perfect bit of paper when if you like something, you like it. So just go for it. So yeah, this is another thing that I do with strips of, uh, you know, leftover uh, scraps, strips, is sometimes I use them for um, <clears throat> just backing words or um, stickers. In this case, these are Tim Holtz stickers, um, because then, you know, you have pieces ready to go. I don't have to go and, and find find anything. It's just ready. And that just helps it stand off the page a little bit. And he is still a tuck spot. I'm still not sure if I'm keeping him in that way, but for now I will. Um, He's already got a butterfly, so I don't feel like I need to add another one. If I was going to, which I might very well later, I would add one sort of, but then, you know, there's one there, so I probably won't. I think that's that's enough. Okay, these ones I'm not doing anything to at the moment because I'm going to wait until I've got um, whatever is going in the tuck spots. Now, this piece... Um, as I said with the pocket, um, I might very well add a pocket to the back, um, but I need to wait until I know what I'm doing with the closure, just in case I end up having eyelet here. Um, so for the front, I love this fairy poking out, and I actually quite like this, um, just this writing. It's, it's very slick on the front. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, I did want to have these butterflies, nearly called them fairies. <laughs> And I've got these Tim Holtz stickers, as I say. Now, I cut one in half. I've got always on the, always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. Because somehow I'm hoping to... I'm just going to place it down, because what I want to do is do something like that. <clears throat> Maybe not exactly there, but something like that. And then have this one. Maybe a bit further over. Something like that. And then I would want... I'm just going to see how that looks on top of the cover. Because <clears throat> that's the, the ultimate... Oh. Move my, fairy, move my butterfly. Oh my goodness me. I'm calling butterflies fairies and fairies butterflies. So it would be something like that. And if I was going to have the ribbon, the ribbon would tie in the middle. So they won't get in the way of that, which is which is ideal. Do you want to, I think, move it down? I don't know. So I liked the butterflies on it. So let me just take those off. I'll, I'll glue them anyway. So I originally had the butterflies like this on the front. But then I did feel like it needed some, some kind of sentiment or something. So. I mean, I could go, you know, across the top. <clears throat> Is 
is it because they're black? You know, that they're, they're standing off too much? And I've used a lot of white, is that maybe what's throwing me off? Um, let me see if that's what it is. Because there's something that's not clicking for me. I may as well just see if this is the bit that we want. Because it's, you know, it's, it's black text, so it would still stand off. Just felt like the black would stand out even more, you know. I think I prefer that. Not in those places, but I think the white, the white stickers, I think are better. I just felt like they were too too much with the black, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So question is <laughs> where are we going to have these stickers and butterflies okay I've got those stuck down um I was fiddling about too much with the placement to um <laughs> to keep filming um so what I did is I put the bow on the front because if that is going to be what the closure looks like then I felt like that helped me um and it did just help me visualize um the whole piece so However I decide to do the closure, I'm, as I say, I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> we'll have this. We'll have a pocket on the back, hopefully. It just depends on that eyelet. And we've got hair peeking over. And always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. I wanted it to be like, you know, you're going to, to go off and find these fairies. We've got a lilac and Michaelmas fairy. Life was meant for a great adventure. And then we've got, of course, the two the two tuck spots on the back, which will have something inside. Um, you find lavender fairy at the end, and one of them has a one of them's open. This one's open, so that will have a fairy card in a secret pocket, you know. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm not going to do any more today. Um, so really, I just want to fill the pockets and just confirm what's going in those. Um, and then obviously I do need to figure out what I'm doing with the closure but really this is a step towards me finishing this whole uh, journal so uh, when I'm ready I will just have to glue this whole back of this envelope down um, this is the card isn't it so I'll just have to glue the whole thing down onto the uh, the journal cover when I'm ready and that will be that will be my cover done so I hope you like what I've come up with today I hope you like the idea of it I've always wanted to do a stacked envelope uh, cover so that was um yeah it's been really fun to be able to do that so I hope you like the idea hope you like how it looks um let me know what you think I'd love to know um yeah I'm pretty happy with that I think it's just the right amount of interest on the cover because it was just beautiful fabric as it is it was um you know beautiful and everything it just wanted something a bit more exciting so that's that I'll speak to you soon bye bye for now